Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Petit Block Scottish Fold. And this is part of the Friends of Cats and Dogs series and is the 10th kit in the series. This is also mini block number 34 and is recommended for ages 12 and up. So let's go ahead and check out this cute little cat. Okay everybody, so here is the Daiso Petit Block Scottish Fold. Now I am very very excited to build this today because I am a big fan of the Daiso Petit Block animals. I think they're really cute. And today we have the Scottish Fold cat. Which should be really interesting because we have a brown base plate uh, for this little cat to go on. And so it'll match up nicely with some of the other petite block animals that I have. This is of course recommended for ages 12 and up. And if you're not familiar with Daiso Petit Block, Daiso Petit Block is a version of Nano Block. Uh, which is essentially a version of Lego. Which is a very, very, very small uh, scale in terms of the brick size. So here is a little picture of a comparison between a Daiso block and as well as a Lego block. So as you can see, it's a big difference. And here's the back of the package. And so let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so inside of the bag, we of course get our bag of bricks here. We also get our instructions and as well as a loose base plate. Let's take a quick look at some of the instructions here. Okay, and at the top, we of course have our parts list. And it looks like we can complete this in seven steps, and the eighth one is to show that it is finished. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, so I have finished the Scottish Fold Cat, and I gotta say, it looks really, really cute, and they actually did a good job making it look like an actual Scottish Fold. So as you can see here, this Scottish Fold, of course, has sort of this orange and white fur to it, and here is the front of the cat. I really like what they did here with the head shape, and as well as uh, some of the shape more towards the mouth, because uh, an actual Scottish Fold, I think... They really went for the profile and the look of the actual face of, of the real cat, which is really awesome. Now, I'm not an expert on cats, but I gotta say that this looks actually like real Scottish Fold, and I also think it is really cute, too. Moving along to the other side, we sort of have some of the other color of the fur as well. Now, I did encounter some issues here with some of the quality control in the mold. Maybe very hard to see there, but um, I tried my best to try to sandwich this down. Uh, but it, it wouldn't really work and that was just one problem that I had with this and of course the back here We have the tail which they did a pretty good job on I mean I'm not sure if there could be another way that they could have improved this a little bit uh, because These of course little uh, Petite block bricks right here are very very fragile and there's no little dividers or separators in between here like Legos So it can just freely slide along the brick there and they have you pretty much put these little 
one by threes together and slant it to make it sort of look like the tail. The only problem with this though is that it is very, very fragile and a simple bump can knock it off like that. And same with this part here, I had a hard time keeping this on while it was in the building process. Uh, but other than that, this was actually a really, really nice kit to put together. Um, I think the tail would be the only sort of fragile thing. Uh, it was easy to put together because you didn't really have to do much layering because you of course get the base plate here which i would recommend to beginners i did have a little bit of struggles at the beginning but that was just because of my fault in reading the instructions uh, but other than that i really really like this kit here i like that they use the brown base plates to put next to some of my other petite block am petite block animals not animals sorry <laughs> uh, but as you may know it's from some of my other videos i always have a little group of leftover pieces or bricks and now there's many many reasons to why this could be uh, but I am not sure and if there's an explanation for what I got in my extra pieces today but with my extra pieces I usually like to make little accessories or little miniature versions of the actual build or something funny that goes along with it and introducing the multiple eyed cat <laughs> Now this thing looks really really wonky because as you can see I got a bunch and I mean a bunch of extra eyes There's only two that is required for this kit here There's many many reasons why they put in extra pieces uh, Either because you might lose it or they only put in a certain amount to count it off the weight But I honestly don't have any explanation to why I got this many eyes here uh, because <laughs> It looks really funny because they gave us a lot of these eyes So I try to make this a little bit weird looking because I have a base of like a normal little cat here And then I just put this giant head on here and it almost looks like a spider cat And I still have more there's still a bunch I put this into like a little tube here But these are a bunch of all the little uh, little one by one black studs that we had left over now I have no clue why they added this in I have no clue. Maybe they incidentally added a little bit more than they needed to. But yeah, this was my little miniature build today. Um, just sort of something kind of a little bit creepy but funny at the same time that it has a bunch of eyes. Because they added in a lot for no reason. Uh, but overall, this was a really nice kit to build. I definitely recommend it to any cat lovers because, come on, this is really, really cute. And nice job done by Petite Block and Daiso. Um, I really, really like this set, and I can't wait to put this in my Daiso Petit Block collection. Alright everybody, so that was the Daiso Petit Block Scottish Fold, and I gotta say, I would definitely recommend this for beginners, and this was also a really nice building experience as well, because you didn't have to do too much layering, and I would definitely recommend this kit for anybody who really, really liked cats or the Scottish Fold, uh, because I think it looks really, really cute. And... That is pretty much about it for this kit. Um, I would although say that for playing with, this would definitely not be good for playing with because uh, it's just a tail here that is just a little bit fragile. Uh, but other than that, this would be really, really great for displaying uh, for people who collect Daiso Petite blocks like me or for cat lovers. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you did, be sure to give it a like and also be sure to subscribe. And thanks you all for watching, guys. Bye.